In the 1900s, ocean liners were very famous. Ocean lines and cruise ships are different in how fast they go, how agile they are, and how strong their hulls are. Ocean liners' main job is to take people from one continent to another, so they need to have streamlined, deep V hulls that can handle rough weather. And cruise ships can do that, but that's not what they were made to do. Today's cruise ships are well built, but they're more like floating hotels than fast-moving transportation boats. Some of the biggest cruise lines' first ships were ocean liners that had been turned into cruise ships. What are the ten biggest ocean liners? Take a look. At number ten, the SS Augusta Victoria. She was the first liner built in continental Europe with twin propellers, and when first placed in service, the fastest liner in the Atlantic trade. The 24,581-ton vessel had a length of 677.5 feet. She had two funnels, four masts, twin propellers, and an average speed of 18 knots. The ocean liner provided accommodation for 472 first-class passengers and for 174 second-class passengers. There was room for 212 third-class passengers and for 1,608 fourth-class passengers. The vessel ended service in 1930 and was sold for scrap. At number 9, the Titanic. A bit surprised to see that the Titanic stood at number 9 on the list, the famous RMS Titanic was a British passenger ship run by the White Star Line. It sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on 15th April 1912, after hitting an iceberg on its first trip from Southampton, England, to New York City. At the time she went into service, Titanic was the biggest ship in the world. It was about 269 meters long and had a displacement of 52,310 tons. About 2,435 people and 892 crew members could fit on it. Its power output was about 46,000 horsepower that could run a maximum speed of 26 miles per hour. At number 8, the Vaderland. In addition to becoming the largest ship ever to sail, the SS Vaderland was also a symbol of luxury that was prevalent during that time. The ship which was larger than the RMS Titanic, was the object of Germany's pride. The ship was purpose-built to accommodate 4,050 people, the majority of whom would be in third or fourth class. Those members of the first class and second class passengers, which totaled 700 and 600 respectively, traveled in a comfortable manner. In terms of length, it was 290 meters and its displacement was 66,800 tons. Number 7. The Majestic RMS Majestic was a British ocean liner working on the White Star Line's North Atlantic run. The Majestic was the largest ship of her time, measuring 291.3 meters long by 30.5 meters at its widest point, and it was assessed at 56,551 gross register tons. Like the Titanic, the RMS Majestic primarily sailed between Southampton and New York City, with a capacity of up to 2,145 passengers and around 900 crew. It served as a passenger liner for 23 years, from 1922 to 1945. After it was retired, it was sold to the British government and scrapped in 1947. At number 6, the SS United States. It is a retired ocean liner built between 1950 and 1951 for the United States lines. The ship is the largest ocean liner constructed entirely in the United States and the fastest ocean liner to cross the Atlantic in either direction, retaining the blue ribbon for the highest average speed since her maiden voyage in 1952, a title she still holds today. It was reported in 1968 that the ship could make 78 kilometers per hour at a maximum power output of 240,000 horsepower. The largest passenger ship ever built in the United States, measured 990 feet in length, could fit 1,928 passengers and 900 crew. At number 5, 
Queen Mary. On one trip in 1943, it set a record for carrying the most passengers, 16,683 people. At 1,019.5 feet long, the Queen Mary was Britain's first entry in the 1,000-foot category of ships. It had a gross tonnage of 81,237, and it was built to carry 2,038 passengers. Queen Mary transported over 2 million passengers. And approximately 810,000 members of the military during World War II. The Queen Mary was in service from 1936 to 1967, and it later became a hotel and tourist attraction, docked at Long Beach, California. At number four, SS Normandy. It was a French ocean liner that entered service in 1935 as the largest and fastest passenger ship afloat. Crossing the Atlantic in a record 4.14 days, and remains the most powerful steam turboelectric propelled passenger ship ever built. The ship was approximately 314 meters long, sailing during the golden age of ocean liners. The SS Normandy showcased the pinnacle of steamship design, accommodations, and service. As World War II broke out, Normandy was claimed by the U.S. Navy and renamed. The U.S. Lafayette. During a refitting to become a troop ship, the Normandy caught fire and capsized. Another casualty of war. At number three, RMS Queen Elizabeth. She was an ocean liner operated by Cunard Line in tandem with the Queen Mary. Both ships provided a weekly luxury liner service between Southampton in the United Kingdom and New York City. She was the largest passenger liner ever built at the time, and for 56 years thereafter, she entered service in March 1940 as a troop ship in the World War II. And it was not until October 1946 that she made her first commercial voyage in her intended role as an ocean liner. She was 1,031 feet long and had a displacement of more than 83,000 tons. At number two, the SS Norway, previously known as the SS Franz, the SS Norway is a historic ship because after a career as a traditional ocean liner, she proved that large ships could be successful cruise ships. She was quite popular in both incarnations. At the time of her construction in 1960, the 316-meter vessel was the longest passenger ship ever built, sailing for the French Line. Between 1962 and 1974, the France did 377 transatlantic crossings. The ship was known for her contemporary French elegance and became a symbol of national pride in France. At number one, Queen Mary II. Since entering service in 2004, Queen Mary II has become a firm favorite among Connaught travelers. When the ship joined the Connaught fleet, she was the largest, longest. Tallest, widest, and most expensive passenger ship ever built. Today, she remains the biggest ocean liner to ever set sail. As of 2023, Queen Mary II is the only ocean liner in service. Queen Mary II was the longest at 1,131.99 feet and largest, with a gross tonnage of 148,528 GT passenger ship ever built. Queen Mary II is more than twice as long as the Washington Monument is tall. With this, we've come to the end of today's video. But stay tuned for more exciting videos from the Buzz. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.